I'm also here to implore the interested parties to reconsider your decision to close the Jeep Trail in its entirety to vehicular access. Many who have testified before me today spoke of the past and letting it rest, of living in the present with a spirit of cooperation between all people. These are the main talking points of my testimony today. My family has called the Big Island home for more than 20 years. Before I moved here myself in 2007, I would visit, visit frequently, usually once or twice a year. I remember noticing the growth that was occurring in Kona even back then. And here we are today, sitting in this beautiful new civic center in a state-of-the-art council meeting room. In the six years I've been here, major retailers like Target, Pier 1, and Sports Authority have opened their doors, providing product and employment to our growing populations. As a matter of fact, the greater Kailua Kona area is growing so much that U.S. Census data reports a 40% increase in population since the year 2000. If Hawaii County has taken the time and expense to improve upon their buildings and offices in, in part to better serve the growing west side population, and if major retailers had enough gumption to open their doors in an area 2,500 miles removed from their nearest supply route in the middle of a recession because they saw the potential for their businesses to succeed in our growing west side economy, well then, is it not too much to ask of our elected county officials to work with the developer to revisit and possibly revise a good faith agreement that was created back in 2003 when our population was approximately 60% of what it is today? My testimony here is not to undermine the hard work of Councilwoman Eoff, former mayors Pilago and Kim, the Kohana Iki Ohana, or the dozens of community members who fought so tirelessly for this land over the past 25 years. Nor am I here to disrespect, disrespect those like the Lee family who wish to preserve the culturally sensitive sites on this land. I understand and appreciate the employment opportunities that have arisen from the development, and I respect the views of all who are emotionally invested in this cause, whether those views mirror mine or not. Personally, I spend three to four days a week at the beach that we call Pine Trees. I was in the water when the heavy machinery broke ground to create the park we speak of today. When I ducked my head underwater to escape those horribly offensive noises, I heard and felt the vibration of the land. And I stood on the beach as the keiki cried, wondering what happened to the trees that they loved to play on. So I am here today as a representative of the community of people who, while we like the new park that the developer has created, we like our beach the old way much better. I'm representing the almost 4,000 people who signed a petition asking the county and the developer to reconsider their decision to close the Jeep Trail in its entirety. I'm representing the local artist and local surfer who collaborated using their own funds to create the t-shirt that I'm wearing today. This little Oceanside Village we all love is growing so quickly. There is little shoreline left for the community left to, left for the community to gather and enjoy the lifestyle that the ocean provides. Please do not take away the shoreline vehicular access to this spot. Please do not squeeze the community in between gates to accommodate the wealthy few who will be able to purchase land here. Please read and listen to the words of the community members who have elected you by, giving, by viewing the petition I will present to you today. In closing, um, I would also like the county to be very diligent in monitoring the development, um, water quality levels especially. You know, I smell the chemicals in the water. My eyes burn in the water now. You know, I wonder about the um, correspondence that the National Park Service has sent out to city planners um, in regards to the interim wastewater treatment program um, in which the plan that was approved is not being followed. Um, I wonder about the application of the development to um, lift the ban on the use of termiticides. All of that's going to run into the water that the community spends so much time in. So I really hope, um, you know, moving forward that there can be a continued spirit of cooperation because there's a lot of people who, while today is a happy day for all of them, it's also very sad. Thank you. Thank you very much.